B16, 17 and 18 is all about scatter graphs. So we'll do these questions together. What sort of correlation is shown? Well, if the crosses are generally pointing in an upwards direction, that is called positive correlation. If they were coming down the opposite direction like that, and that would be negative correlation, but they're not. They're going upwards, not downwards. So that's positive correlation. Positive correlation generally means that the two sets of data are moving in the same direction. So we're talking about math scores and science scores upwards. So in other words, as um, math scores increase, the science scores are going in the same direction so that means they also increase. As math scores increase, the science scores increase. Positive correlation. And that is probably what you would expect because people who tend to be good at maths also tend to be good at science and vice versa. It isn't impossible that you could get someone who was an outlier. An outlier could be down here. This would mean that that person is quite far along on the maths scale so they've got quite a high math score but then they're quite low down on the science scale so they've got uh, really good at math but not so good at science maybe they just had a bad day on the test maybe they just genuinely aren't that good at science and they much prefer maths so but that sort of uh, cross if it's wildly different from the general direction of the other crosses would be classed as an, an outlier or some people call it an anomaly in the data so drawing a line of best fit, well, my purple arrow here, I've already done that. A line of best fit just passes through the general direction of most of the crosses. It doesn't even have to touch all of the crosses. I think that line is only touching two or three crosses. It doesn't actually even have to touch any crosses as long as it's passing through the general direction of the crosses. Please make sure uh, that we uh, use a ruler for that, though. I know I didn't on this video, but make sure we use a ruler if we're doing it on an exam paper or in our books. And then B18 circle the highest score the high science score should I say well the high science score is the one that is furthest up the science scale and this score here is the one that's the highest vertically so that one would be the high science score with a green circle and just for the sake of completeness although it doesn't ask us to do this we'll also circle the highest math score so highest maths will circle in a light blue circle. Now, math is along the bottom, so you would need the furthest circle, furthest onwards horizontally towards the right, and that would actually be this one. So that's further along than the green one. So furthest up is the green circle, so that's the highest science score. Furthest along is the blue circle, so that's the highest math score.